Big win for rideshare companies such as Uber and Lyft here in Maryland. State officials agreed to waive a requirement for fingerprint background checks. The companies had threatened to leave the state if it was mandated. WJZ is live. Megan McCorkle has reaction to this ruling. Megan? Well, Denise, the Maryland Public Service Commission ruled that the company's background checks are comprehensive enough, but they are asking for some provisions. Agechi Itu is one of 30,000 rideshare drivers working for Uber in Maryland. I make my own schedule and I'm able to be there when my kids need me. Unlike cab drivers, she isn't required to submit to an FBI fingerprint background check. It's got an even, even feel, you know. If we do it, why can't they do it? Today, state officials agreed to waive those checks if the companies follow several restrictions, including annual background checks from a provider that's audited and accredited. Drivers will also be required to report arrests or convictions within three business days. We think our process is as comprehensive and, and accurate, and we don't want to add unnecessary barriers. The rideshare companies threatened to leave Maryland if they didn't get the waiver. Uber has followed through on their threat to leave other jurisdictions that require fingerprinting. They've pulled out of both Austin, Texas and Broward County, Florida. Public safety expert Rob Weinholt says fingerprint checks provide some safeguards. If you don't fingerprint someone, they could literally give you a, a name and a social security number of someone other than themselves and hide their background from consumers. Several incidents involving Uber drivers have been reported, including the alleged kidnapping of a woman in College Park this year. Still, riders we spoke to say they feel safe. I'm up here like any other cab uh, that comes to pick me up. Um, it's all about the individual. Now, it looks like ride shares will stay on Maryland roads. And the ride share companies now have 10 days to agree to the new restrictions. Reporting live, Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. I thank you, Megan. In a statement to WJZ, Uber officials thank state officials for carefully considering public safety protections. Uber has put in place to ensure Marylanders have access to a safe, reliable ride throughout the state.